United and determined to be heard. In Bangkok, tens of thousands of pro-democracy protesters rallied. He's shouting for the Prime Minister to resign. They want new elections, a new constitution. They're demanding change. What do you want the government to do? Get out. That's all. Get out. And, and spend his life in prison. So if the government don't change, you'll keep protesting? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to break the wall. And some here have crossed a traditional red line calling for reform of the monarchy, an institution protected from criticism by strict defamation laws. We should be able to talk publicly about the monarchy like they do in other countries. Talking about the monarchy is not overthrowing it. In the shadow of the Grand Palace, they made the sign of resistance. But some went further, ignoring orders to leave and pushing past police. The protesters have just broken through the fence, which was the line that the authorities set to stop them uh, from coming this far. They've just broken through it. They're moving the protest, which is peaceful, forward. But that is a real taboo moment in this. These protests have been happening almost daily since July. The government says it will listen to their demands and isn't against the demonstrations as long as they stay within the law. The government is not trying to uh, discourage them to do anything, but just asking them to avoid any kind of uh, uh, violence. This is the biggest protest since the 2014 coup, and support keeps on growing, challenging Thailand's most powerful institutions. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Bangkok.